Computers and space games just naturally go together. In fact, the first computer game ever was called Space War, developed by students at MIT back in 1962. Here to show us their favorite space games are Glenn Rubenstein again, and also with us Ben Calica, a computer writer. Okay, let's go to number two now of your picks, which is Space Quest 4. Space Quest 4. Of all the space games ever, spa the Space Quest series has always been the most right. popular. And that's because, you know, of the storyline and also the fact that they're very humorous type uh -huh. games. You know, they have a great parody element. And also simply the great graphics, the great mm -hmm. detail that's put into the game. All right, so here's Space Quest 4. Okay, we're skipping and what's the, the story here, Glenn? Okay. In this sh game, you're being followed by the sequel police. As you can see up there, it's a Space Quest 12. You've gone through a time ripple. Okay. See, uh, right there, you, your character, Roger Wilco, who's a space janitor, uh -huh. falls out, and uh, he's again got to save the universe from destruction. And so we're landing on this uh, mystery, desolate planet here of some sort. And as you can see, you know, it looks just like a science fiction movie. Yeah. It's very futuristic, very... Uh, and you can roam around, move your character around, and explore the usual kind of adventure games. Yeah, stuff. and um, as you can see, when, once you walk forward... Yeah, that, so it gets closer. You know, it's your typical futuristic city, and uh, this game is brand new right now. Yeah, it's really logic problem-solving kind of game, not really yeah, a shoot-em-up game. Yeah, and that's what's good about it. It's not yeah. just, you know, senseless action. You really have to think, and it takes a long time to beat it, and it's really worth okay, it. Okay, speaking of great graphics, though, I want you to show us Wing Commander, Wing Commander 2. 2. That's your two. third pick. Okay, whoops. Pop out so of this So we'll get one. out of here.